Hello and welcome to this new self space do it at any time training dedicated to open fun and in particular to transition in front older versions to open fun 11. So before starting uh, we would like to invite you to to to, to follow us in, in YouTube okay or join our channel here you have the links and also if you want to to keep in touch and stay connected here you have uh, our website also my personal email so feel free to send me an email or you can write your comments on uh, in the comment section of the video so let's talk about this training this short introduction so basically we're going to address the transition to open phone 11 from older versions in particular open phone 10 and nine and basically probably as you follow our channel you know that we have a really long training in open phone 9 and we didn't develop any other training introductory training because we were waiting for this new release in open phone 11 we were aware that there were bit changes so we were waiting for that and now open phone 11 we are sure we know what are those changes so this training it is a short training just dedicated to this transition open from 11 okay, to open from 11 from pre previous version okay so we're going to address a couple of tutorials but then also we're working a longer training material okay we're work in many more options okay and features that we have in open from 11 but very important <clears throat> that also we, we invite you to check these links Okay, so later I'm going to, to comment on this one, but the biggest modification that we have in Open Phone 11 is modular solvers. Okay, so this is completely changing the way how we work. It's not good, it's not bad, it will take some time to get used. So here you have these two links so you can get familiar. Also, the release notes. And I was talking about this Open Phone 9, no introductory training, it's a very long one. And the interesting thing is that this training it is still very valid however with these new changes there are new modifications that we need to introduce but the foundation the core technology the core knowledge okay everything it is the same is perfectly transferable to new open phone versions or to another software okay so in we are going to address in this <coughs> training okay the major modification but then in another is <clears throat> longer training we're going to go into into details and other modifications that we don't have here time to, to address okay but this is the idea okay it's way more complex than this one so stay tuned that i we're going to release the videos and well also here in this link the link to our website and you can download all the training material you have the training material for open phone 9 but also you have the training material for open phone 10 advanced training okay so as i say we didn't del uh, deliver any training with with open phone 11 or the or this year or the last year because we were waiting for this modification we were aware that it was a big one okay so let me go here and open have the pages open so basically talking about the modular solvers okay here you have a description i want to, to talk about this one but the idea of this one that pimple phone eco phone drop pimple phone all that stuff disappear okay now we have one single executable with this full run, phone run or phone post processing run and everything is done there okay so this as you can see can simplify things but also it will take you some time to get used because there are some small modifications okay but i think okay from from the, the the point of view of maintaining the source code probably is something positive negative you need to get used to something new okay probably you were very well used to the previous solvers and solve that that stuff disappear also some keywords in some dictionaries disappear so we're going to address the basic stuff here so it is very interesting just i invite you to read this but also <clears throat> here you have know how everything is divided all these smaller solvers okay so basically instead of having single application we have classes and one single is executable and that single is executable now it will call the right class for the right solver within one specific dictionary we will which will be now control dig so later we're going to see that but this is what we have right now so we're going to address basic physics so for instance the single flows here you have you no know, it's a fluid solver 
and now we enter into classes isothermal then the fluid class you have the C fluid class you no know, the siphon solver combustion that is stuff if you are doing compressible <clears throat> compressible solvers now you have the still the fluid one so you start from isothermal no the incompressible one temperature constant and then you stand it to the fully complete one where you have energy equation you have the shock fluid which is the one the explicit one i always forget the number of this one i don't use it very often then the boi solvers they have been separated in this way but everything is called no we need to to use a new keyword single solver which is phone fun run okay so please get familiar with this okay so you have a description here okay here you have shock fluid is super so it's now raw central phone but remember these are classes these are not the executables so this is how you run now so you have phone run and that's all okay and then the class the solver it is called in the control dictionary so you have this entry so now you need to put that specific end entry so since you recall previously it wasn't necessary now you need to put it and just one single command so as you see it is way much easier okay but now you need to get used to the new syntax and the new keywords and additionally from form run you have form post process to do the post processing so this is equivalent to post process that we have and there you have this phone to see okay very important this doesn't mean to see see the programming language this is table of content okay so this is equivalent of previous that you have the phone info and the list option that it will give you a table this is equivalent okay do not confuse do not think that this is to the c language is table of content so please read this one you have also the user manual okay so developers are updating everything so please keep up to date and then also read the release notes okay in the release notes okay you have many comments very interesting comments so take your time get familiar to this so at this point okay i would like to say that this is a big transition in the sense that all this syntax is changing okay it took me some time also the release was two months ago so i knew already from almost one year now i follow also the developer but it took me some time so it, it is up to you if you want to do the change so i want to remind you that a new solver is not an indication of innovation not necessarily means innovation and also an old solver doesn't mean stability and reliability okay so it is up to you to take this step, the decision, okay, I want to move to Open Phone 11 or I want to stay with Open Phone 10. Honestly, I have to say Open Phone 10, 11 performance, pretty much the same. There are some differences, okay? Modular solver has some, some other, but honestly speaking, this every year there is a new release, 12, 13, so I would expect also rain also and in 12, 13, there are going to be some other big changes. So it's better to, to transition slowly, okay? So I have nothing to do for this, nothing else to say for this introduction. In the next, next video, we're going to address the first tutorial and also to show you in some other videos, the new structure, the source code that changed a little bit. I don't do much programming or I haven't done any programming, I think for a while, okay? Mainly I program models. I don't program any more solvers, but I will check in everything. And, and there are some changes, so I'll introduce you to that. So thank you for your attention, and I hope you will enjoy this, this new training, this transition to Open Phone 11. Bye, and see you next video.